Welcome to Flares by Enda and my first ever live stream on Facebook. Um, I'm a bit nervous. Who wouldn't be? But sure, there you go. And um, if there's anything you want to ask me, fire ahead. And um, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to do a nice contemporary basket arrangement. I'll show you more or less step by step how it's done. Uh, easy for me. I have all the accessories to do it. And there you go. So I'm going to start off with obviously a basket. Secretaries, scissors, coffee. So what I'm going to do, this is a lining of uh, cellophane that you wrap your bouquet in. So I'm just putting this down as a double assurance that the oasis doesn't leak. So I'm going to try and slow it down a bit so you can understand me. So what I'm going to do is I need to cut these two blocks of oasis which I pre-soaked. I'm just going to cut them so they fit nice and snugly within the basket. So here we go. Cut. I don't know why I made that sound, but I did. Cut into the basket. Get it nice and firm. And the plastic then that's left over. Now you can do this with any size basket. It doesn't have to be a big one like this. But since it's my first live stream, I said I might as well. Oh, right. So I'm going to roll this backwards or forward, whichever way you want to put it, into the basket. And what that does is it wedges the um, oasis firm so it doesn't rock and roll around the place and I don't need to use the anchor tape, that green ugly tape that sometimes we have to put over things and then you see it on that side. So that's it, ready, that basket. It was slightly crooked but that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to start off just greening the basket and what you need to do is, I have a selection of greenery out, this is called Aurelia, I have two of those. This one's called Pittosporum, one of them. This is Kentia Pan. I've taken three out, but I don't think I need it. Or actually, it's not Kentia, it's Rubellini. And this is Aspidestra leaves. So this, this is the type of foliage I'm going to use for this basket arrangement. Now what I'll do is, as I'm going along, I'll turn the basket around, or Paul might walk around, and so you can see the frontal shot of this. But anyhow, so we're going to start off and I'm going to start off with the Aurelia leaves. And I'm just going to nice sharp scissors, sharp point on the Aurelia and stick it in to one corner of the oasis, to one side of the basket. And with the other Aurelia leaf, again, nice sharp point into the other corner. Now people say to me when I'm doing arrangements, do I know what I'm going to do uh, well before I start? Not a clue. I'll see how the, the, the flow of the flowers is going and I'll have this great idea in my head and then it changes. So anyhow, aspidestra, nice point, just turn it around, so it makes kind of a, it doubles over on the leaf. You could go again with it to get an, another shape but I'm not going to because I want to cover that space and that's what it does. So it covers that space, no fiddly bits of greenery trying to work that one out. Again, same thing, nice point. This time I'm going to go twice with it, so I don't want it to cover as much room. So we just turn it around, just play with the leaf. In you go there, boy, that's it, and into there. And that's that part. And then with the aspid, no, this is pittosporum. So with this, I'm just going to cut bits from it. There we go. You can try this at home. <laughs> So there we go. So some uh, pillosporum. Now I'll turn this around or I'll get Paul to stand up and move with the tablet. There you go, Paul. So you can see kind of how the base of this is working out. So I'm just filling this area here, which will be the front of the arrangement with the fiddly, awkward little bits of foliage. So you'll see then how it's taking shape. And this is my main part of display here. So that's it there. So we have Aurelia, Aspidestra, and Pillisporum. I will remember all these names. I'm doing floristry 30 years. So it's constantly repeated to you every day. You'll remember. So I'm just putting little bits of variegation here and there just to bring the colour through. So that's it. So uh, polyasmatic? Nope. Good. <laughs> here we go. So this is leaf shine. Puts the gloss on the foliage and just makes it more presentable. So now, follow me, I am going to get some 
three beautiful alliums, two green anthuriums. I'm going to think I go with a blue hydrangea. Then Paul's going to have to turn around. So I have these lovely flowers here. And then into here I'm going to use, I think I might go, no, I don't know if I will or not. I, I could go, um, yeah, I think I'll use two snapdragons or anthurinums. These are called anthuriums. These are called anthurinums. Those two there. And then I'm just going to use, uh, sorry, I'm going to use, yeah, I think I will, four. Oh, get the right ones. Four of these roses, and these are called candy. That's exactly what they look like. So that's what I'm going to use for this basket arrangement. Now, I haven't used the Phoenix Palm yet. That will come in a minute, if at all. So what I'm going to do with the alliums, these beautiful alliums, these lovely, lovely alliums. So I'm just going to line them up, and this is my height. So I think I might do them roughly the two the same height. So again, always a sharp point when you're cutting flowers or foliage into the oasis. There you go, nice and deep. We'll do a nice modern arrangement with this. Down a little. And the third one, here it is here. And I might even go higher. We have 12 viewers now, Inda, online. Wow. 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 <laughs> All of Blessington is tuning in. <laughs> God, Oprah, did you hurt it? The new Jamie Oliver of that. <laughs> Good enough to eat. Well, I hope so. <laughs> so, as I say, this is modern. So, modern means minimalistic. You don't use a huge amount of flowers, but you create a lot of um, drama. We all love drama. Regardless of what we say, we all love drama. Now, so that's it there. So this is, and you could say, just past the halfway point, nice and sharp. Everything that you do, I'll show you with this block of oasis. If you're using flowers and you do that, your flower will die, okay? If you do, I'll do it again. If you push it in and it goes down that much, your flower will die because there's no water on the top, even though that's wet. What you have to do is you have to shove it in to get it right down deep so the whole stem is completely submerged in the oasis. And that's what you have to do. If you've cut the flower too short, tough, you'll just have, kind of have to come around, uh, come up with another idea to, to get around it. So I'm going to shove this one in really, really deep and low into this arrangement. So just kind of, you see there, now how it's taking shape so it's staging you come down you don't necessarily have to go one two three four five and down but the idea of this arrangement is to bring your eye down but not necessarily with the three five formation this is just as i say a modern arrangement so i'm going to use the snapdragons in next okay hazel hansbury from ennis says looking good and uh, we are watching in ennis <laughs> hello ennis hello ennis me dad's from down that way down ennis as in well it could be carmody street i suppose there is one in ennis i know my cousin used to have a shoe shop in ennis and that was i believe god rest his soul you called him roadie or Roddy, and we called him Roddy. Anne Marie Nolan says, Love it. <laughs> Thanks, Anne Marie. Thank you very much. Uh, now, so I just put the Anthuriums, not the Anthuriums, Snapdragons, Antorinums just in there. Just breaks the severity of the line of the Allium. Okay? So, with the Candy Roses, these ones, I'm going to cut these short. I am a devil for doing this, but I like, I like roses short because, again, you might find when you buy roses that um, after two or three days they've wilted and the heads have fallen over, and that can happen, okay? But when you cut them short, they can't fall over or go anywhere, so I'm just going to encase the, um, 
the hydrangea short out in case with the roses and have it short and just kind of have it in. A, I'd probably have to use six, I'd say. I thought I'd get away with four. But hey, that's the joy of being a florist. I can just do these things. And then I can oh, get it in there, you devil. Now I'll just turn that around while I'm getting the, um, the other two roses there. See, there's my dog. Say hello to Oshin. There's Oshin. Hi, Osh. Hey, boy. You doing? Yeah. Oh, good boy. Good boy, Osh. Yeah, say hello, Shay. Now, back into bed. Come on. Back in. Good lad. Now, so I've just got another two candies. I'm just going to put... I need something else in there now. That's just not 100% right yet for me. Stick it in there. We have reached the giddy heights of 14 viewers. <laughs> oh my god. Now, people don't forget to like and share. Like and share, <laughs> share and like, like and share, like and share. That's what all this thing is all about. Well, it's not really, but it's to show you of. Oh, I was going to use those sticks. You see, now, me putting that rose in there might look fine and dandy, but I don't like it there. It's just not working for me. So we'll take that out for the moment. I don't always get it right first time. I like to think I do, but I don't. I'm only human. Now, yeah, I think that needs that there. Now I'm going to just go to the other side of Paul. Stay there for a second. There we go. Now, I just have this one green anthurium. I need this to just fill this hole here and bring that color through. You'll see it in a second how it works. I think that looks fine. And um, another bit of pito in there, that's fine there. Now I was going to use the twigs, but I actually don't know if I need them. I think I do actually. So I'll put one there. Yeah, definitely need the twigs. That looks great, if I may say so myself. One, two, three, another one in there. I need to use this friggin' rose now that I've, um, Cut it so short, so we have to find a home for it here. Ah, oh, yeah, always room. And really, folks, when you know how, it's very easy and very enjoyable. So, 14 viewers. 20 viewers. Oh, <laughs> 20 viewers. Fantastic. From Ennis, New York, wow. Glen and Maddie. Wow. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh. Ah, stop. <laughs> Now, so I'm just going to shove this other, no I won't, I will, yeah. So it's kind of a case of waste not, want not, and you really have to use, because everything costs at the end of the day for all of us, whether you the purchaser or me the, the buyer in this sense, and you need to get really value out of everything, and that's what you have to do. So, at the end of the day, very simple, but I think a very nice flower arrangement by Enda. Flowers. Okay, shut up. There you go. And that's it, folks. So thank you very, very much for watching. And uh, please throw in some requests if you want me to do anything for you, whether it would be um, a candle arrangement, whether you want me to do a buttonhole, a corsage, um, whether you want me to show you how to do a wreath, anything, anything, how to decorate a plant, how to make something special, send photographs, anything at all. And I'll do my damnedest to see if I can help you out. I we love a challenge, so challenge me. We might do it again, Enda. We might just do. Bye now. See ya. Bye-bye.